I'm curious uh, on the, the ripple effect on the defense when you have Matt Milano in the lineup and when you don't, I guess, what, what kind of, I know certainly he's a talented player on own, but it seems like schematically there might be a little bit of a domino effect when he's in there. What, what can you just say about what he brings uh, when he's in there? Yeah, I mean, you know, Matt, you know, he's one of the best linebackers in the game. So, um, you know, he can cover, he can tackle, um, you know, he can play physical. So, um, you know, he's it, obviously not having him on the, on the field is, is yeah, you know, it's uh, we would like to have him back um, as soon as possible. But, you know, we have to talk about next man up. So, um, you know, it's cliche, uh, but, you know, that's just, you know, that's, that's my answer. Obviously, yes, we'd like to have him back on the football field because, uh, he is one of our best defensive players, but at the same time, you know, we got to be able to still be able to, you know, go out there and execute without him or anybody else, for, for that matter, be out there to go out, uh, <clears throat> be able to go out there and execute our, execute our plan. Does it change at all, like, your responsibility as safeties when you don't have a linebacker that you could just say, like, all right, he can go on the tight end, and do you have to do anything differently? Uh, not necessarily. Like I said, I think you just got to stick within the plan, stick within the scheme, and understand you know each guy understand his his job description on each play and so um you know and, and that's just really what it comes down to what have you been able to um gauge from him in terms of just the frustration of being in and out of the lineup obviously in a contract year and um you know, guys, you guys have gotten to know well if it's just tough seeing him go in and out like that i, I would imagine yeah obviously he's frustrated once to play um you know i kind of been in the same boat not exactly you know his situation, but, you know, kind of just not being able to be there with my teammates, especially when things aren't going as well um, as, as you'd like them to be. And so, you know, I know he's, he's, he's working extremely hard to get back on the football field. So, um, you know, when he gets back out there, I'm, you know, we can't wait to have him back out there. Thank you, Jordan. Hey, Jordan, John Scott. Good to see you. What's going on, John? Um, defensively, uh, We've seen teams pass on you. We've seen teams run on you with Kansas City. Uh, but Leslie said yesterday, you don't want to do drastic changes uh, because it confuses players and you want the message to be the same. How challenging is that, though, when uh, it's been multiple ways that, that you guys have seen some struggles? Uh, you know, it, obviously it's challenging in, in, a, in its own way. You know, we never want to give up, you know, the yards we've been giving up or the points we've been giving up, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's, this is this is NFL football. You know, this is uh, you you go through ups and downs in the season. You try to figure things out. Um, you know, I've been in this league long enough to understand. You know, there's there's a lot of football to be played, and and you know the sense of urgency. You know, I, I felt it this morning. Just a sense of urgency within our team, within our group. You know, it's there to get back on track and to get back to the way we know how to play football. Um, and so, like I said, you know. My 2017, I think it was a three-game streak. We, we lost three bad games in a row. Um, you know, 2018 was this, that, or other. You know, 2019, last year, um, we had our ups and downs. So there's going to be ups and downs within the season. And, you know, we got the right guys on this team to be able to handle adversity and to be able to come out on top of, you know, something. You know, obviously things aren't going the way we want them to be right now. But um, we got the right guys. And, and, and today was a, was a great start in you know, getting our jump on the Jets. Has that been a topic of conversation uh, this week, going back to what you guys did and went through in 2017 and in years past? I'm sorry, I can you ask that again? Yeah, so, um, has it been a topic of conversation the past, 2017, and that stretch you guys went through and, and how you rallied out of it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't necessarily think, you know, that's been, that has been brought up, but at the same time, you know, every, every year is different. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna go through adversity. You know, there's gonna be time. You know, within a within a within a week, uh, within a, within your game plan, within uh, the game, and, and within the season. You know, and so um, good teams find ways to get out of those adversity and get out of get out of, a, of, of whatever you want to call it, a slump or this side or the other. Good teams find ways to get out of that, and then we're a good football team. And so um, we just continue to come here to work every day with the right mindset and attitude. Um, in order to fix, you know, what's obviously what's been going on, and so, uh, you know, um, like I said, I think today we have the right sense of urgency coming in here um, from from the meetings to practice, and so we just want to continue moving that forward. Is it also easier to have that confidence? You'll work your way through it because you guys have been such a high level unit the past two years, and most of you are are back. Yeah, I think I think our our guys take a lot of pride and. Uh, 
and what they do uh, on and off the field. And so, you know, nobody, nobody's feeling great right now. Obviously, we, you know, back to back losses, defense not playing that well. And so, um, you, you know, guys, you can, you can sense it in the guys that we were hungry to, to get back on track and to get this defense, um, you know, rolling the way we know how to, you know how to play. Uh, last one, one guy that's, regardless of how the Jets season's been going, that, that's always seemed to having success is Jamison Crowder. What are the challenges he presents in that passing game? Yeah, man, uh, you know, guy's a ball player. Um, you know, he's, he, he, he's hoping for man matchups to be able to get, um, to play with leverage and be able to run his routes across the field. Um, you know, really good after the catch. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's our main target right now. And so uh, we got to find ways to limit him in the passing game.